Hello, this is Stacy of the Mustache Podcast, and I'm going to do a quick and dirty stitch surfer tutorial today. First, we're going to start off with what we need to knit the stitch surfers. If you haven't seen this pattern, it is a free pattern from Knitty.com, and there you go. That's what the front page looks like. It is by Louise Roberts. What we're going to need to knit this is two yarns. And I am using uh, Mustache Yarns Perfect Sock in Elsa and Anna and in the Contrast and the Frozen colorway, also Mustache Yarns Perfect Sock. I'm going to use Magic Loop, so I have myself an Addy number one turbo 40 inch. Just my preference. I'm also going to use a locking stitch marker. I have my Vintage Rose with the lobster claw, but uh, any. Um, stitch marker works here, locking or removable. So what we're going to do is we're just going to lay the yarn over. Oh, there we go. Get back on camera. We're just going to lay the yarn over the needles. Here is my tail. You do not need a long tail, just enough to weave it in later. So here's my working yarn that's going to the ball. Now it just comes up and over the two needles. We need 16 stitches for this pattern. So we're going to wrap around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm just going to do one or two more. Just for good measure. Now we come to the end and we're going to hold it. I'm going to hold it there with my finger and I'm holding the rest of the stitches with my thumb, kind of pressing them down. We're going to take the bottom needle out. Now you guys, this is a little bit um, cumbersome. I'm, I'm going to be a little bit clumsy because honestly I've got the camera propped up in front of me and um, I'm having to reach around it. So uh, it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing if I drift off. I'm going to try to notice as quickly as I can and drift back. So I'm just going to do my best here. Okay, so hold on to these stitches, otherwise they'll keep unwrapping. Now our yarn is coming up from the back, just like working yarn should. So here we go. Let's just start knitting these stitches. And once again, this is the Turkish cast on. One. Like I said, guys, it's kind of hard to do reaching around a camera. Two, three, four, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Now you see we have a couple extra ones, but we don't need those. So we can just push our needle down slightly and let those go. Now we're going to turn 180 degrees, push our needle back, and I can just kind of hold on to all that. Just when you get the needle just about ready to push in, I like to pull out the working needle just so you can keep those stitches as tight as possible. Now we've got our tail and our working yarn both right here. What I like to do is just to make sure that the tail is close to your knitting. Hold it with your finger and bring your working yarn up and over. And that kind of pushes it into place, just like with um, Fair Isle, if you've done that before. All right, now let's start. Go down this side. We just knit our way back. One, two, like I said, hard to do reaching around a camera. <laughs> Three, four, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. And there we go. Okay, we've just done our cast on, and I did the 
Turkish cast on. And for this pattern, we cast on 32 stitches. We have 16 on the top needle and 16 on the bottom needle. Now to start, we are going to knit halfway across. So we're just going to knit the first eight stitches. And this is where we are going to place our stitch marker. So now continuing with the pattern, in the main color we're going to knit six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have two left. So we're going to knit till we have two left. Now we're going to knit in the front and the back of the second to the last stitch on the left hand needle. And the pattern says knit two. So we're going to knit this one stitch on this side and the first stitch on the next side. So we've knit all those stitches on the needle. We're going to flip it over, pull the new needle down, the old needle out. There we go. Get my working yarn back there. Okay, now continuing with the pattern, we're going to knit this first stitch and the second stitch we're going to knit the front and back. And now it says to knit six stitches and to drop the main color. One, two, three, four, five, six. Drop the main color. And now we're going to knit with our contrast color. Okay, so with the contrast color, we are going to knit six stitches. It's always the fiddliest to get it started, right? So that's one. And I'm going to put the, just like I always do, I put the tail over the working so that the tail is closest to the knitting. And then I just kind of pull it tight. One, two, three, four, oops, five. Now I have two stitches left, and that's where I'm going to knit in the front and the back for my toe increase. And the last stitch on this side. Now I've knit all the stitches on this side. I'm going to turn my work 180 degrees. Oh, run away yarn. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to pull the needle back down. Working needle out. And if you're new to Magic Loop, you can always remember your working needle is the one that has your working yarn coming off of it. Just push down my other needle. So we knit the last stitch on the backhand needle and now we're going to knit one stitch, the first stitch on this side and then we're going to knit front and back. And with this last front and back we have now increased by four stitches. Two on each side of the, this side of the sock and two on the back side of the sock. And now we knit front and back, we're going to knit six more and we're going to do our first wrap and turn. And here's six. And here we go, wrap and turn. We're going to bring working yarn to the front, pull your stitch. I'm sorry, not pull your stitch. Put your right hand needle into that stitch. Bring it, bring it from the left needle to the right needle. Put the working yarn back. Put the stitch back onto the left hand needle. And now we are ready to turn our work. Okay, so we have cast on 
using the Turkish cast on and we have uh, joined in our contrasting color, done our wrap and turn and now we're ready to purl back. We are using our contrast color. So with this first stitch you purl it, give a good tug to your yarn as you purl back at least for those first couple of stitches just to make sure you do not have a hole. So if you're familiar with knitting uh, toe-up socks, you have an increase round and then a knit round or a resting round. So we're going to call this purling back the resting round. Purl to the end of this needle, turn the work, push back the needle, pull out the other needle. And remember we're doing it inside out, so it's going to seem a little bit funny, but working yarn comes off of the working needle. And it is a little bit fiddly because you've got a lot of, uh, you know, main color yarn, contrast color yarn, and uh, two tails. Okay, so pinch those together so you don't get ladders down the side. And just continue purling back. get to our main color. We're going to drop our contrast color, pick up our main color, and continue purling. And at this point it's a good idea to go ahead and pause I've, I've just purled a couple of stitches um, and pull your contrast color nice and taut so you don't have a hole there. And continue pulling, purling back until you get to the beginning of the round. And I'm at the end of my needle, but I'm not at the end of the round. So I need to turn my work under an 80, push my needle back in, pull my needle out. We're still working on the inside, and we need to continue purling until we get to our stitch marker, which marks pretty much, it marks the end of the round. last one. Now we're going to turn our work. So now we're looking at the outside of the sock. We were just knitting on the inside of the sock with our main color which I'm still holding. We're going to slip the first stitch and okay so we're going to repeat what we just did. The only thing new is we're going to slip this first stitch of our main color. We're going to knit two, two stitches before the end. We're going to do a front and a back. Then we're going to turn our work around, knit down the second needle by knitting the first, knitting front and the back. When we get to our contrast color, we're going to drop our main color, pick up our contrast color, continue knitting till we get to the 
end of this needle, knit in front and back, knit the last stitch, turn the work, knit the first stitch, knit front and back in that contrasting color, and knit until we get to the stitch marker. Then we're going to wrap and purl that next stitch, turn our work, and purl our way all the way back. You purl the contrasting yarn with the contrasting color and purl the main color yarn with the main color. Easy peasy. I have knit all of the toe increases except the last one and I thought I would go ahead and knit that with you guys. So how we begin our round is at our first main color we slip the first stitch and knit to the two from the end. I'm sure you guys have this down by now. I'm at the last two stitches, so I knit front and back. All right, let's try that again. It is a little bit difficult to knit with your arms stretched around a rather large camera. <laughs> and I'm going to knit that last stitch. Now, I turn my work, pull my working needle out, put my new needle in. Knit the first stitch. And I knit front and back of the second stitch. Knit, continue using my main color until I get to the middle. Now I'm going to drop my main color and I'm going to pick up my contrasting color and continue down the row to the last two stitches. I'm going to knit one or two and then I'm just going to go ahead and tighten that up. Just give it a tug. I'm at the last two stitches, so I knit front and back. And the last stitch. Now I'm going to flip my work over. Pull my working needle out. I'm still using my contrasting color. And I knit the first stitch, knit front and back of the second stitch, and continue to the stitch marker. off the stitch marker, bring your yarn to the front, first stitch on the left hand needle, put it onto the right, bring the yarn to the back, and now place that stitch right back onto the left hand needle. Put your stitch marker back onto the left hand needle and turn so that you're looking at the inside. Now we're going to reset by purling all the way back. We're going to purl our contrasting yarn stitches with our contrasting yarn. Ay, ay, ay. There we go. And when we get on to the second side, we're going to drop the contrast at the color change, pick up our main color, and continue purling till we get back. Drop the contrasting color. Pick up your main color. I like the contrasting 
color to go over the main color. I hope I wasn't wildly off screen just then. Burlet, give a Burlet, give a tug to your contrasting color that you've dropped. Knit another stitch. Give it another good tug. And turn to the right side. Now we're ready to begin surfing.